What's up, YouTube? It is Gravel Gaming, and we are in week eight, two months later, in Aim Lab for Apex. Not a lot to report this week, to be quite honest. I have not been playing a ton of Apex. I was getting a little Apex fatigue with the new season changes. I actually checked out Valorant this week, which I'll probably be posting a video on. I'm not going to be tracking my Aim Lab process for Valorant, but. I'm going to have some Valorant footage on the, on the uh, site, which will be cool. But uh, yeah, just not a lot of Apex time. So this is going to be a short one this week. But I've still been putting my work in. I've still been doing my aim lab. So I'm kind of like giving myself permission to play by working through my uh, playlist in aim lab. I've been having a bug in aim lab right now, which is pissing me right off. I usually use the scar for things where I need to fire a lot of shots because I find clicking intensely with the nine millimeter when things are moving around is just it's tiring it, it kind of gives me like a, almost like a carpal tunnel kind of feel like i don't want to play any shooter after that because i'm just i'm kind of just tired it's it's a lot of effort so i try to use fully automatic guns for those tasks specifically to not strain myself that's why i call my my playlist now strain free apex warm-up Problem is, there's a bug in the, the latest update in Aim Lab where it keeps replacing my scar with a bullpup carbine, which would be fine, except the bullpup carbine is a semi auto weapon. So every time you want to shoot, you have to click. So things where I was just kind of trying to keep my, my tracking on the target and putting as many bullets into it as I can, now I'm having the track and click like crazy. And it's really aggravating. It actually kind of makes me want to delete my playlist and start all over again. And the best thing is I found out that actually by doing a test and creating another playlist, anytime I select the scar, it replaces with the bullpup carbine. So it, it isn't even in just my existing lists that are corrupted. It's like anything I do where I choose the scar, it picks the bullpup carbine. Maybe if I pick the bullpup carbine, it'll it'll give me the scar. One way or the other, another, it's making it super annoying. I actually posted on the... Uh, aim lab discord so we'll see if i if they get back to me but um yeah that that is kind of annoying and it's making it really hard to want to play through my playlist when it's just it's really frustrating uh i'm, I'm gonna probably switch it out with the mp5 i did some tests and it looks like if i go from the if i go from the bullpup carbine to the mp5 it won't be so bad uh like, like it'll actually retain it i just don't like the mp5 because i find the optic on there is massive and it gives me this huge blind spot to the right so so much so that like when things pop up on the right i don't see them because they're behind the optics and i don't want to aim down sight for everything sometimes i just want to work on my hip fire so anyway those are the technical issues i'm working through still overall my actual performance is up which shocked me because there's a bunch of tests where i'm expecting to use a full auto and i've been using the bullpup so there, there's definitely like i had some pretty crappy scores but uh, overall, I'm not doing too bad. No change in flicking, which is fine. Tracking actually went up, which is good. I'm, I'm actually surprised because I, I didn't really think my tracking would improve that much. But you can actually see from the graphs, it kind of steadily, since week five, it's just been kind of steadily going up. So practice makes perfect. I really just kind of want to get above 50% in everything. So at least I can say I'm an average player. Because right now, I mean, if you look at my flicking, I'm not an average player. I'm below 50%. I mean, some areas I'm, I'm, I'm above. I also worked on cognition a bit. I changed up my audio interface a little bit. So now I, I think I have a little bit better uh, perception and uh, recognition of sound. So uh, I'm actually trying to work that out a little bit as well. Uh, kind of a cheesy way to get my scores up. Maybe I can get out, finally get out of, uh, out of plat completely. But uh, anyway, overall, yeah, aim lab scores are looking good. And we will swing over to Apex. In Apex, uh, yeah, it's an improvement as well. It's, I'm still not where I want to be. I really, I really wanted to be the one this season, and it has not happened. And I mean, I haven't been putting in the work in Apex, which I think hasn't helped. I played Valorant this week. I played the new Tony Hawk Pro Skater. So I, I am going to try to find some time to really dig into Apex and kind of work on improving my game. I've also been playing a lot of Ranked, which I think is a big impact because we're not like taking fights nearly as much. And a lot of the fights we're having are the end of the games, which is usually against the better players in the lobby. So I, I, I like I'm not to make excuses, but I think that's not that's definitely not improving my KD. I'm not just you know hot dropping into uh, random pub games and try to steamroll everyone. I'm I'm kind of you know playing a more tactical game in, in ranked, and as such, it's it's kind of holding me back. I think a little bit in the uh, in the kill department, but hey, overall we're we're definitely up from that really low point of week six. You can kind of see the valley. Um, you, you'll see the valley in the charts here at the end. 
So if we look at the charts, AimLab progress is pretty much flat. There's not really a whole lot to say there. I'm making gains, but they're all very small. They're like, you know, less than 2% type of thing. So it's not going to be, or, you know, less than 5%. It's not going to be like reflected. The good thing was we're not seeing any drawbacks either. And some things are kind of just steadily increasing like my tracking, which is nice. Um, Apex, <laughs> we have like our valley and we kind of, we're kind of heading back up again, which is good. So my average damage is trending upwards, which is nice. My kill death, not really trending the way I want to. It really looks like I'm going to come out of the season at max at a 0.8. And I, I really want to do better than that. So like I said, I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to put in some effort and try to improve this, but you know, so little time in so many video games. But anyway, that pretty much just wraps it up for this week. If you haven't already, uh, if you can consider subscribing to my channel, that would be great. Um, I uh, I been trying to put more effort into you know getting a lot of content out there and, and putting putting some quality videos together. And I haven't I, I think in the time I was putting in maximum effort, I lost one subscriber. So haven't really been seeing a correlation between time put in and subscribers, but I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. Hopefully somebody finds some value in this. And you know if you're a, if you're a below average player as well, which I mean just about 50% of us should be, then you know maybe this will be a benefit to you. If you're some like super stud, why are you watching this? Go uh, go frag out. Anyway, appreciate it as always. Thanks for watching.